Hello, everybody. I'm Mole now. Wild Stitch. Pokemon Black does lock once again. And we're still chasing after Team Plasma in here. They ran off with a Dragon Skull. And we can't have that. We gotta have that skull back. And you, you need to have an ass woman, little boy. Pokemon Strong Boys, you'll see them if you fight. Yeah, I think you'll see my Strong Boys. And a better be. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't have switched Gravitab on the front. Votrum would have a great advantage against this thing, but whatever. Ah, uh, you and your protect. Let's just... Okay! Let's just... Fury swipes him! And grab the tab, poisoned. Fantastic. Critical. And that's three hits. Ah, uh, you screeched at me. We ain't dealing with harshly lowered defense. Waltrip, you get in there and hit this little bastard with your psychic stuff. Or perhaps flying attacks would be better. Yeah, your protect failed. Now, have a confusion. I don't know if bug type resists psychic or not. Apparently not! There we go. And Timber. This could go poorly, because this thing probably knows how to throw rocks, but that is a chance I am willing to take, and I might deeply regret that. And focus energy, okay. Not even gonna give me a chance to regret it, are you? Boom! Bitch! That thing's out of my way. And, hey, did you see my Pokemon Strong points? Yeah, I saw that they're strong at dying! Boom! Got him! Ha ha ha! Taste the sting of my sharp tongue, you little prick. Now then, let's Get through this wild puppy. Who Rablatab is not gonna be fighting. I figured I'd be facing more Team Plasma than anything else, but as soon as I switched away from Fortress, I started running in to the goddamn dark type users of Team Plasma. Well, blow it away! And you're still alive, God damn it! Hurry up and die! I want you to not live anymore! Good story! Now then, ha, 69 experience, nice! That is the sex number. And there's gonna be somebody popping out of these mounds, aren't there? Yep! Fucking knew it. Your pal, get great powers drawn from nature without opposing it. That's the strength of the rangers. Yep. Gotta deal with the rangers. Audra, you and your pan sage, who I can't beat, put wrap the tab up against for obvious reasons. Here comes Wotrump. As soon as I switch him out of the front, that's when I start feeding him. And you leech it in your seat. Okay, might have to switch away from Quotra. If that gets to be too bad for me. Let's just hit you with some gusty gust. Ew, he licked me. So... Yeah, Wotrum, you gotta get the fuck up part out of there! And we are going to throw in Dongalong, who is going to be stomping the ass of this annoying little primate. Haha, <laughs> stupid, your lick don't work on me, I'm a normal type. 
Now here comes a big ol' smelly tackle. And you're still alive. Why you gotta survive my attempts to kill you? There we go. Dead. Gonna use that critical hit, that critical hit earlier. But fine. I'll just deal with what I've been given. Yeah, Pokemon, blah, 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 give me your money. This is one of the powers you got from nature. It's a chesto berry. That ain't a power, it's a fruit. You can't derive power from fruit. Unless you got some kind of engine that runs on fruit or other organic matter. I would not doubt that it is possible to have that sort of technology. Science is incredible! They make science things happen. And there's the next team plasma asshole. And we got another ranger ambushing me. That's just great. Why these stupid ass rangers got me? And come out and do stuff and things. And you gotta have that pan pour. I was expecting another grass type, but fine, I'll show you what a grass type looks like! Sure, you get in there and eat this monkey! Why are you licking my snake? That's just rude! Well, now you get spun around by the leaves. Victory is mine! And there we go. Yeah, situation, hurry up, get out of my face, I got things to do, and... That's a Petcha Berry. Good for poison, if I recall correctly, which I think I do! And... I'm not giving you the opportunity to pop out and ambush me! Now then, let's just... Grab the tab up front because you are gonna have a dark type Pokemon as the rest of Team Plasma has so far. We made it this far. I hold it here so my friends can get away. Well, we'll just see how well that works out for you, Mr. Plasma Man. Show me what you got. And of course. One time, I have grab the tab up front, ready to kick some ass. We got a fucking normal type. But to be fair, it most likely knows bite, which would be bad for Woke. Well, spray of the water. Bad. Bad track. That is worse than bite. That would... That is something Woke would not be likely to survive. Jerg, we're sending you in to kill another rat. Oh yes, go ahead. Bide. Bide all you want. I ain't letting you build up anything on that. There goes your defense. And... I'ma throw some seeds on ya. Unleashed your energy, but it failed. Here, have some seedy news. Nice seedy seeds. And there we go. That... No, wait, you took a hit from Frapatab. That would be a lot... Way too much of damage to be taken from a single hit of Leech Seed. Yeah, and that fight ain't gonna help you at all. Victory! Now then. Yep, yeah, our rules and your rules are different. Now give me your lunch, buddy. Yep, yeah, I'm here by time. If you don't step lively, we're going to get away. Alright then. Let me just shoot some goo onto my monkey. There we are. Scooped up the monkey real good. And let's. Okay, I'm not taking that bait. And you're here. Let in the wilderness. Dark blah blah blah. Get the fuck out of my face, you tree hugging hippie son of a bitch! Yeah, Miguel. 
hands here. Now it's time for Grandpa to have to shine. Let's just spray you down real good. There you go, I wish that would have done more damage, but Vegas can't be choosers! Grab the tab, you got this! You got this good! You got it by the balls! Unless you get paralyzed by that lick! Motherfucker! The one time the paralyze works with that, and it works against me! But it'll be fine. Unless you die from this thing hitting five times in a row. And... Okay! Good! That should be some good experience for ya! Get you a level or two. And water sport. Absolutely not! I hate that move! I never find any opportunity to use it. Ever! Moves like Water Sport and Mud Sport, I'm pretty sure, are next to useless. I do see the strategic value of them. Being able to cut in half the damage of fire or electricity moves. But, like, especially with Mud Sport, it's usually a water type that learns it. And then you wouldn't want them to be in, in the first place, against something that does have an electric move. Now, let me just see, how am I doing on time? I still have plenty of time for this episode. Let's see what you got. The Pursuer? Ha ha ha! A kid like you beat some of us? That can't be helped, but I'll take you on now. Yeah. You can take me on, but it's a big mistake. Trent. Yeah. Fuck you and your smelly rodent. Ah, hit you with some furious swipe. I hope it misses. Okay, it missed. So then, let's not deal with any of that. Tramblums, you get the fuck in here and wreck his shit. Can you store up your energy? You're gonna release it before I get a chance to hit you. But it failed. It failed to hit me. Ramblubs is beefing up! And then she's going to annihilate you. That ought to make the tackle a one-shot kill! Yep! Sweep your entire team with the power of Tramblubs! This is what you foolish criminals get for tangling with an 11-year-old child! You're... Y'all are fucked. Totally, utterly both. Oh, you lowered my attack. No matter, I'll still take you down. Take you down, pound town. Except I'm hitting with tackle instead of pound, so it's more like tackle town. Plasma, if this keeps up, I didn't get to read that. Why do you fools gotta yell PLASMA when I kill your ass? Fine, take the stupid skull! Yeah, I got me a skull. Yep, now get out of my way, sell a dream about to the dream our king had. The dream we had won't come true. Who the hell are you? Gorm. Why do I know your name? How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages? I'm mortified that this skull, which we went through so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the Dragon Skull. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokémon for which Team Plasma is looking. It is completely unrelated. 
but we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We'll fix it so you never interfere with us again. Are you threatening me, old man? Oh, sweet. The bug Pokemon are getting all worked up, so I come. So here I come. And what do I spy with my little eye? This important looking guy. Are you here to help your friends whom I defeated? Alpudic Bird? The others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I am one of the Seven Sages of Team Plasma. Getsis, another of the Seven Sages, will liberate the Pokémon with words alone. The remainder of the Seven Sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokémon with full force. But the odds are a little against us now. To you, the Bug Pokémon user Berg, and the normal Pokémon user Lenora, I say, Know your enemies, know yourself. And you need not fear the result. Yes, we're all familiar with the art of war. Now get your old wrinkly geriatric ass out of here! Yeah, need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Yeah, art of war. This time, we shall retreat quietly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we steal Pokemon from trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope you are looking forward to that time as much as I. They're a speedy bunch. What are you planning to do, Berg? Are you going to chase them? Hmm. We got back the stolen skull, and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Lenore. Well now, well, I'll be waiting for you challenge at the Castelia City Pokemon Gym. Yes indeed, I'm certainly looking forward to it. Well then, we got our next gym leader to go for. Now, Pooty, you're holding the dragon skull you worked so hard to get back, right? Yep, you can have your stupid skull back. Now, Pooty, thank you so much. With a kind trainer like you taking care of them, Pokemon with you must be happy. Here is a token of my gratitude. Please use it carefully. Hey, a Moonstone. Put the Moonstone in thing. If the Moonstone, some Pokemon evolve when you use this item on them. I must take the Dragon Skull back to the museum. See you, take care of yourself. Bye! There we go. That's taken care of. How am I doing on time? I got a few minutes left. Alright. Yep, it's a seed. I'll probably hand that off to Churg. There's a thing that I've noticed about this game that's different from most other Pokemon games. One is the order in which story events happen, like the bad guy teams popping up and disrupting things. In all the other games, they don't usually pop up until much later in the game, like after you've got a handful of gym badges. And, ah, damn it. And another thing is the, the Pokemon in this game. You don't run into any older Pokemon at all. It's all the Pokemon of this generation until after you beat the Elite Four. And you know what? Let's lick the bat. There you go. They created 150 brand new Pokemon for this game. And that's all you encounter until you beat the game. Then you start seeing the older ones running around in different locations. Okay, that was a crit. That's fine. I can survive a regular hit. I can survive another crit. Unless this... Alright, good. Kill this bat with your tongue! You just got licked to death by a fucking monkey. How does that feel? And there's another one. I think it's time to pull you out of there. And send in a little bit of Rabaclab. 
but yeah. I wish they would do that again for the next Pokemon game. Nothing but new ones until you reach post-game territory. That is one of the things that I love about this particular generation. It did bring about some of the Pokemon that I absolutely hate the most, like that fucking ice cream cone Pokemon. But there's a lot more good ones that heavily outweigh the few that I think are stupid. Like Blinzel, for example, a lightning zebra. That is one of my favorite Pokemon of this generation. I think my absolute favorite Pokemon of this generation would probably be... Uh, what's its name? Haxorus! That's right, the big yellow one, the dragon type. But it's... I'm probably not gonna actually be able to get Haxorus in this Nuzlocke run. The thing that it evolves into is a pretty rare spawn deep in a cave somewhere much further from here. And let me just see... Yep! There we go! I'm all out of time for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye!